On February 14, 2022, two teams of MU students announced their campaigns for next year's President and Vice President of the Missouri Students Association to represent the student body. Two slates, Show Me Mizzou and Maximize Mizzou, campaigned for a month. The Missouri Students Association was established in 1911 and is the student government for MU's undergraduate students. It includes a student council and student senate similar to our national government. Throughout the course of this MSA election season, Mizzou student media followed these two slates as they campaigned for leadership of the student body. Presidential candidate Josiah Mendoza and vice presidential candidate Molly Miller, both sophomores, created the Show Me Mizzou slate. Mendoza is a second year business major with an emphasis in marketing and Miller is a second year student studying journalism and international relations. Both candidates are involved in Greek life. Mendoza is a member of the Sigma Tau Gamma fraternity and is the treasurer for his chapter. Miller is a member of the Pi Beta Phi sorority. Mendoza and Miller were committed to running a campaign based on nonpartisanship. Josiah Mendoza is conservative and is former president of Mizzou College Republicans. My father is from Nicaragua and the first experience I really had was when he was meeting with a Democrat because people would really lobby him a lot of the time on the, on the left side of things. And I would watch my dad debate this Democrat and it was always respectful, it was always dignified, but he would just present his side. It's not the most typical background for someone on this side of the aisle. And he knew that, so he would always utilize that. So it was a really cool experience. Miller is currently an intern for Democratic Congressman from Missouri, Representative Emanuel Kleber. She spent the majority of the campaign in Washington, D.C. What I do is I am in rep or I'm interning with a representative from Missouri and I uh, intern at the Capitol in his Capitol office and basically um, do a variety of things. Uh, a lot of it's administrative, but I've also been able to do a little bit of um, like legislative work, like writing memos and things like that. They said their differing viewpoints made them stronger as a team. Our, our personalities, our political ideologies, they very much can contrast each other, but I think that is honestly um, obviously for the better um, because we do it really respectfully and I think that uh, it will give us versatility should we be elected. Juniors Samantha Hull and Daniel Darty of the Maximize Mizzou Slate campaigned to be an amplifying voice for the student body. My name is Samantha Hull. I go by Sammy. Um, I'm a junior here at Mizzou and I am triple majoring in political science, economics, and constitutional democracy. Hull is a member of the Sigma Kappa sorority and on Sigma Kappa's diversity, equity, inclusivity, and accommodations committee. Hull has also served as Speaker of Congress for the Residence Halls Association and Chair of Operations for the International Affairs Committee for MSA. Yeah. So my freshman year, Danny and I met through RHA, which is the Residence Halls Association. Um, I was a representative for Wolfers, and I was also their um, homecoming chair and programming chair. And then later in the year, I also became the vice president of Wolfers. Um, but I was really involved with RHA and I became the programming chair of RHA my freshman year. Second semester of my freshman year, I joined MSA, um, the Missouri Students Association, as an at-large senator. And then very shortly afterwards, um, we got sent home because of the pandemic. But um, fall semester of my freshman year, I had previously been elected as the Speaker of Congress for RHA. So I was the head of the legislative branch for that government and I oversaw all of the representatives and their hall governments um, just helping manage everything, a very large budget, keeping the exec board in line, making sure everyone was abiding by the constitution and bylaws, overseeing all of the legislation that had been passed um, and sort of keeping it running while 2020 was happening and um, keeping all of those students engaged in a student org when it was entirely virtual, which was a learning curve. Darty is also in his third year, majoring in political science and environmental sciences with an emphasis in outreach and education. My name is Daniel Darty, but I go by Danny. Um, I am a, a third year student here and I am majoring in environmental sciences with an emphasis in outreach and education. And I'm also dual majoring in poli-sci with an emphasis in pre-law. So I first started in RHA, which is the, the residence hall um, association. And I started as a as a representative in my hall government at, um, at, the, at the Mark Twain Res Hall. I was a legislative assistant for the Associated Students of the University of Missouri. Um, that is a nonprofit, nonpartisan um, student org that uh, 
it exists at a, uh, a campus level here at Mizzou and on all four campuses, as well as at a system level. So at the system level, I was their intern in the state capitol. Darty was the only candidate of the four who was not involved in Greek life on campus. With similar platforms, both Maximize Mizzou and Show Me Mizzou spent a month trying to differentiate their campaigns to the student body. We have three main campaign pillars, I guess you could call them. Our first is student, uh, student safety. Then we have student service and then student support. We understand um, and have, and personally, I've experienced, um, especially a lot in the last semester as an outreach director, that the uh, perception of MSA and the relationships with other students and student organizations just varies across the board. And a lot of times it's not positive. For Maximize Mizzou, choosing to run together was a natural decision to make. Friendship, mutual trust, um, a lot of transparency. This yeah. past like semester, I think Danny and I have hung out like pretty much every single day. While Show Me Mizzou did not know each other before choosing to run together. Molly was not someone that I knew initially. I didn't know her at first. And in fact, it was a friend of mine from high school who ultimately, who's in Molly's sorority, who ultimately introduced me to Molly and stated that she's very involved and that she'd be good for something. This is what you're looking for, basically. And so we met and we're like, oh yeah, this is, this is going to work. This is the, this is, this is it. On March 6, 2022, Mizzou Student Media held a debate in Stotler Lounge at the Memorial Student Union, where the slates went head-to-head -head in the same room for the first time during the campaign. The day after the debate, the election was supposed to open at 6 p.m. on March 7th. Due to technical difficulties on the election site, the election never opened. Um, I'm not sure exactly why it went down. Um, all I know is that there was like a problem with getting it up. Um, so like when people clicked on the site, it wasn't already there. It got up about two hours. So like the election started at 6 p.m. last Monday. And then the website never actually got up until 8 p.m. So that's why we had to postpone it to this week. But um, for all we know, it was just like you know, a technical issue. The election was postponed for another week, giving the slates extra time to campaign. In addition to canvassing on campus, both slates campaigned on their social media pages. We also, like we mentioned, we may start a TikTok, even though we are both very, very bad at it. Yeah. Um, we have an Instagram page and then we have a website. Interestingly enough, that's something that Molly and I have already been doing throughout the campaign itself. This has been most effective over social media and to put it into perspective for myself and my fraternity, for example, a lot of my brothers didn't know what MSA was, and so now there's a bunch of guys who know what MSA is. The rescheduled election opened on Monday, March 14th at 6 p.m. and closed Wednesday, March 16th at 6 p.m. In a sweep of 69% to 31%, Show Me Mizzou's Mendoza and Miller were elected president and vice president of MSA. 1,552 of MU's approximately 30,000 students voted in the election. Danny. Yeah, they just came out. Cool. Okay. Nice. Cool. Josiah and Molly won. It's okay. Cool. Nice. The math doesn't really add up. It's 69 and 31. Oh, wait, that no, doesn't that add, up. add up. Sorry. Okay. Not a math major. Oh. <laughs> Them. Yeah, cool. Yeah. There's always a possibility. We were never like blindly optimistic about it. We wanted to be very reasonable. Yeah. Um, and make sure and that like, like this wasn't going to be taking us by surprise at all. So. Yeah. So we had like backup plans if we lost, and so that's okay. Mm -hmm. Molly and I are incredibly excited to get started, and that's pretty much it. Just there's a lot of exhilaration. So Molly and I are already taking the preliminary steps to form a cabinet. We're also thinking about what our policy initiatives will do in those first couple of weeks in office. We're focused on which ones we want to emphasize as we're doing right now.